So who created this, God or Anunnaki? There you go, Cro-Magnon, asking those deep questions. I cover all this in the, in the videos. Zechariah, the, the, I have such a deep and abiding problem talking about the Anunnaki. I do not like the topic. I don't like the subject because I have to work through your filters. I can't start from a place where I'm at and then bring you up to my level of understanding. I can't. I have to go to yours and I understand that. And I'm not being denigrating. I'm not denigrating you, you at all. But Zechariah Sitchin played the field and he got everybody accepting so many different things that are considered as norms when it comes to Anunnaki research. And I have to wrestle through all that because if I tell, if I answer questions about the Anunna straight out, I'm going to get met with that blank look because it goes totally against what Zechariah, it's not what Zechariah Sitchin proved to you, but what he told you. It's totally different. My friend, Cro-Magnon, there is no evidence whatsoever that the Anunna or the Anunnaki are gods at all. The evidence is that this is a major ancient 4th millennium BC cargo cult situation. If you're not familiar with cargo cults, I'm just going to give you a 15 second rundown. A cargo cult is a very primitive people, man, that come into contact with an advanced people and they watch their airplanes come in. They watch their APC, they watch the parachute drops of all the cargo coming from the sky. And then they find out that inside these boxes that are dropped from the sky are beautiful things like cigars and cigarettes and MREs and food and magazines, things they've never seen before. Matches, simple things, t-shirts. And then when the war is over, the technologically advanced civilization departs and goes back to the, the lands of their nativity. And they, they abandon the aisles and the runways stay empty. The airplanes don't come anymore. The boats don't come anymore. So the natives employing the employing sympathetic magic build replicas of the airplanes. They build replicas of the runways. They build replicas of the airports. They build replicas of the boxes. And then they perform rituals to induce the gods, these technologically advanced humans, to come back. This is the story of the Nazca lines, those giant effigies in, in the ground that are all facing the sky. These are offerings to the gods to come back. The CERN giant is, a, is an effigy in the United Kingdom. There are many of them all around the world. This is cargo cult phenomenon. The Anuna were bearded humans that suddenly appeared after a cataclysm with their infrastructure torn, but their technology intact in waves of arcs they appeared in the Near East and they totally overwhelmed the primitive Neolithic, Neolithic matriarchal people who were basically living on the principles of sympathetic magic. And uh, I don't want to say sorcery, but it was a different lifestyle. They got a lot done doing levitating giant boulders through songs and chants and people. They weren't using technology. They were the technology. It was a different paradigm, a totally different world. The matriarchal, the matriarchal societies are fascinating, and they're far older than the patriarchal ones that appeared later with technology. There's no evidence there were gods. So 